Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I'm how I make the rigs of the characters. Uh, rigs are actually like the it's like making a whole system so the character can uh, be animated. I don't draw the characters each time. I just make like one really elaborate drawing and then use that to uh, to animate. So I'm going to make a small rig and then I'm going to show you like a collection of rigs I have. So yeah, you can check it out. So here we go. So first of all, we have to draw like a. a like a small body. This is like this is going to be the torso. Uh, this is a bone, uh, by the way, if you don't know it. Uh, this is the torso. Here we have two arms. Another two arms. Uh, here, are, like how the bones are connected. Like this bone, actually, it, it always connects to the last bone you made. So uh, we have to avoid this and connect this to the main bone that is uh, this one. Yeah, for now let's do like this. We have a, this is going to be the torso. This is going to be an arm. It's going to be another arm. So you may think, yeah, if we move, if we, if we move the bones, it's going to move. But nope, because nothing is connected right now. So what we have to do is, um, first of all, we select a bone. And then we click this small binding points button and what we, what we do is we select this and I'm going to also select the neck so we can, we can have like the neck and the body connected. Ah, yeah, finally. Um, so now that we've, we have binded all the points, uh, we can more or less move the body. Um, uh, if you can see like a... Um, it is all connected, we have this small body and for example let's do a small animation. First of all I create a keyframe. Let's make for example, let's make our character jump. We stretch him down a little bit. Let's make a small jump animation. And I'm going to copy this one. So we have a small jump. It doesn't look like perfect, but uh, like we did it in like one or two minutes, so it kind of looks neat for it. So yeah, this is from my latest uh, Tunathon episode. Uh, I tried not to play so much with smart bones here, but you can see some small things with smart bones. For example, you can see parts of his body move when he moves his arm. Mostly here, like you can see these these parts um, interacting or his neck. Uh, going up. Captain America I think is more complex. He has a smart bone that detects if his eyes open or close and uh, his neck also has a lot of... Uh, like th these are all the smart bones uh, that Captain America has. We also have characters like King K. Rool, like I only designed this part of his body because we only see him sitting down. He has a lot of bones as well. Um, he was a really complex character to make like his mouth, uh, if you see like I move this down and it you know, goes a little bit up here, that's also because of a smart bone. His neck also interacts with his cape. All of, all of the, those things are done with smart bones. For example, his crown, it moves around when he moves his head. Um, there's also Waluigi that uh, when he moves his hand, it opens and closes a little bit so it feels like he's complaining when he appears. There's so his mouth looks kind of creepy right here but that's because the mouth is masked inside the uh, uh, mask yeah <laughs> um, then it comes Sans I actually had planned to make a small fight scene with Sans but I didn't end up using it uh, so he has a more complex uh, rig than, than many other characters um, he has move like movement he can kind of rotate his head a little bit when he talks he doesn't open his mouth and he can also go from happy to sad Rayman doesn't have legs because we only see him sitting. Uh, he has a thing on the smart room that detects his mouth, so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally, I'm not going. I'm not going to go in all characters, but these are the Lyosacs as they appear in the movie. Uh, they all. The main smart bone they have is 
face rotation. That is one of the newest things I've added to the characters, as well as uh, some interaction with shadows. And yeah, this was really hard to make. Like if you if you look really into it, there are some weird moments. Like for example, this one, like the face looks weird. But I usually don't stay here. Like I make the character turn real fast, and you just see the motion of the movement. And Ray, Ray, I think looks the weirdest. Like just look here. It looks really terrible, but I never stop there, you know, it's like, returns and what? Hey, what? What? Um, and Vince as well, like, um, but yeah, so, anyways, guys, this is a small look into rigging. Uh, it's a really tedious process, but the good thing is that after you make a really elaborate rig, you will have characters that you can use in animation uh, for, uh, like forever, you know, and you just have to make some small tweaks. For example, if Alec is dirty, or if Ray has a scar, if I know about uh, other than that, uh, it's really simple. And if you're an independent animator like me, I really suggest trying this out. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, behind the scenes. I'm going to get back to work, guys, so I got out. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes video. Let us know in the comments section below what you'd like to see next time. All of this was made possible thanks to our support on Patreon, so if you would like to help us make more videos like this, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Also, subscribe to the Lino Sacks for more awesome content. Take it easy.